Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I just want to show you guys how I go from this to a super sleek, clean ponytail. Now, if you have curly hair, you know that it is not as easy as it sounds. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys the products I like to use as well as the techniques that I like to use that work perfectly for my hair to get this in check. So yeah, let's jump straight in. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna start with my DIY Curl Refresher Spray. You guys should already know about this. This is just a mixture of water and conditioner in here. The conditioner I have in there today is the One Condition Original by Diva Curl. I recently discovered the original instead of the Decadence and I love it so much, including the smell. I just feel like it's a lot better, so just letting you know. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna start by spraying this in my curls just to get everything damp. I find that when my hair is damp, it's a lot easier to kind of play with, comb through, and just style overall. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now this is a little bit damp. I'm gonna go ahead and part. I think today I'm gonna go for middle part, like sleek, low hoof. So let's go ahead and do the middle part. All right, so now that we've got our part, it's time for the next step, which is probably the most important step of getting to slick your hair back, and that is getting your hair combed out, like cleared out. In order to get it super slick, super neat, and just like pasted all the way back, we gotta make sure that all the knots here are like completely cleared out. So in order to do that, I'm gonna spray a little bit more DIY spray as well as add some leave-in conditioner so we have a little bit of slip and then I'm gonna go in with my Denman brush to then start clearing out the knots. For my leave-in conditioner, I'm using the Camille Rose Leave-In Detangling Hair Treatment. This middle part of my hair right here in the back, it is the most stubborn part of my hair. So I'm adding more spray and more products so we can get it properly detangled. Once everything is all combed out, then I'm just gonna start to brush the hair back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a smoothing brush to smooth down the edges and then catch it into a hair tie. So here we are so far. Now in order to prevent any flyaways or any frizz on top here from happening throughout the day, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Camille Rose Curl Maker and use that to further slick down this hair. All right, so see how smooth and shiny the Curl Maker makes the hair? Like I love it. That's like. One of my OG ride or die products, whenever I need to slick my hair, that is what I'm reaching for. Because not only does it give you the hold, it gives you the shine. And the shine just takes you up like another level. All right, and we're still not done because when we have a sleek look, we gotta lay these edges. So because the hair is slicked back, you really can see your edges. That's gonna be like the main focal point. So I kinda wanna make these a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more pronounced, a little bit more fun. So I'm gonna grab my tail comb. Usually when I do my edges, I just kind of grab my brush and just wispy them. But when I want like more dramatic, more pronounced edges, I will grab this comb because this grabs every teensers of baby hair that you got and lays it in the way that you want it. And I'm gonna show y'all right now. For edge control today, I'm using a Jamaican brand called Soft Touch. They sent me some of their hair wax stuff and it is amazing. So my current favorite is their Style Hair Wax Matte in number five. So I really like this edge control because it's movable. Like while you're applying it to your edges, your edges are still pretty movable. But then once it sets, it sets and your edges are not moving. I also like that it's like a waxy material. So at the end of the night, once you're ready to kind of, you know, the edges can 
relax now. You just spray a little bit of water and it just loosens right up. You never want to use something that's too stiff because then you're going to break your edges off and nobody wants that. All right, so I'm going to start by dampening my edges a little bit. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit to my edges here. And then I'm going to take my tail comb and start combing out in the way that I want my edges to be. So we've got our first little swoop going here. And before we move on to the next one, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of extra edge control on top just to make sure it's like super secure. And then we'll go down and do the second swoop. See, when you use a comb like this, it just makes it so easy. So you swoop down and then pull the comb back. And that will give you your design right there. Look at how pronounced! The same thing again, swoop down and pull back. I'm gonna need to come a little closer so I can show you guys exactly the greatness that is going on right now. Boom. Ta-da! I love how these edges came out. This is pretty insane, pretty dramatic, and something a little fun for like a slick back look, you know? So that was super quick, easy, painless, right? Like this is something that you could even do in the morning when you want to spice it up a little bit at work. I love this look. But yeah guys, that is it for this tutorial. Super easy to the point. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up on this video. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.